Hey guys, and welcome to my video on just like random stuff you can do in Save Editor and how to do Code Chrome and custom paint jobs and everything. So let's get this thing started, right? Okay, after you've downloaded Save Editor, which I'm not going to show you guys how to download because I'm pretty sure you guys know how to download stuff, right? What you're going to do is you're going to click Open Device. You're going to click. You're going to look for your USB drive, obviously, and you're going to click Open. You're going to find your profile, which I don't know why mine says that, but it does. You're going to click open. And now you're going to look for your game save. Uh, I have a bunch because I like to give away cars, but that's besides the point. Don't ask me for a car, I won't give you one because I don't know you. So, then you're going to click open. And then this little screen is going to come up. And oddly enough, you want to click no backup. Because I've tried to click yes before and for whatever reason it did not save anything I did like nothing transferred so you want to click no you want it to load right here yeah, wait 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 and then what you want to want to do is you want to want to click garage wait for the cars to load and uh, as you can see I was very personalized last go ahead and rat loader ass into it ah. but uh yeah you know you can see all my cars right here but let's walk through it. Alright, this rat rudder, you know, it's black with fluorescent blue pearlescent. And you're going to say, wait, rat rudder can't have pearlescent on it. In save editor, you can make it have a pearlescent, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, now under the color chrome. Right here, if you want to do color chrome, what you're going to do is you're going to select primary color, chrome. Pearlescent, chrome secondary color chrome and then you're going to go down to custom color click this find your custom color it has to be something bright like a bright orange uh, bright yellow makes it look like gold color uh, you can do bright green bright blue bright purple bright red any bright color will work even a pink and it looks really weird when it's pink but you know, whatever who cares right and then you're going to click this and this and then you're going to do whatever you want to do over here you know your upgrades whatever and then you can go and pick your license plate and what is this you can get a North Yankton license plate from like the beginning of the game where they were in North Yankton and running from the cops and the whole thing started with the prologue and the SUV or whatever this is that same rusty old license plate but you can put your own stuff on it you can make it say F U or whatever unlike the little iFruit app that Rockstar put out <laughs> it won't censor what you say, so you can legit put anything that you want on this license plate, but it has to be within eight characters, unfortunately. Um, and you can only do one license plate. You can't have like a different license plate in the front. It's going to be the same on the front and the back for the vehicles that have the front and back license plates. And I know I'm talking really fast because that's because like I'm tired and this is in a hurry because people are requesting me to do this. So. Yeah, let's go on to another custom paint job. It is my rebel. As you can see it says zombie. Uh, this is a very zombie-esque paint job. I, this is not a picture of my car by the way. This is just what comes in save editor as an example of the car. Uh, my rebel is very clean like this one is. But it has the Baja front end and the lights on top. Which is really awesome, right? Uh, you're going to want to select wine red and lime green. What this does... It's a very grotesque and zombie-esque and just brutal paint job. I mean, uh, when you're in the dark with a little light, it looks like a very decaying flesh, like flesh, or, you know, just like falling off a bone, like infected green. And then when you go in the light, it's like a blood red. It's pretty awesome. Uh, secondary color is invalid in this car, of course, but I just like putting that. And then I have everything upgraded, you know, lowered suspension. And what is this? Another thing we can do that I didn't tell you about. We can change the windows, but not just any color. We can do light green. And it, it looks pretty awesome on this truck, honestly. So I've got. And then obviously I have the mill spec tires to make it look all tough. You know, mean and tough like. But, uh, you know. <laughs> who can make a like cool rebel look tough? Nobody. A rebel isn't tough looking at all. So yeah, um, 
and just to show off, let's go over to Franklin's Garage and just show you what I got. I got this nice Sultan right here. And what's so special about the Sultan? I'll tell you what's so special about it. Uh, right here, how it says later, bitch. It says it for a reason. It's got 10 times normal turbo on it. It is insanely fast. This is my main drag racing car online. And you're going to say, oh, I thought this was for single player. If you know the glitch to get multiplayer, like, <laughs> multiplayer, to get single player cars online, then everything you do in here in editing the car will transfer. As you see, I have, it doesn't say anything right here. Like, it's all, like, weird colored, right? That's because I went in the hard code uh, with a hex editor, HXD, um, and edited the code you know just manually uh, it looks pretty mean it's pretty awesome I get compliments on it all the time but yeah um, let's go on to another car how about this Sand King yeah this car is my baby as you can see another blue chrome car uh, chrome rims and it's pretty awesome you know you can do custom tire smoke uh, yeah, it's just, you can do any color that you want basically you can even do a fluorescent blue as the main color as I'll show you in a second um, where is it uh, uh, there it is fluorescent blue right there um, but let me get back to chrome don't want to mess this up so as you can see another what personalized license plate uh, but as before when you do the custom color you know you can also do that with the tire smoke and you can legit do any color in the tire smoke even this nasty vomit looking green if you wanted to I don't know why you would because that's very gross but uh if you want to do that color go for it man um, another awesome thing about save editor is if you don't like the cars in your garage you can replace them like uh let's see you know you can put a cop car in your garage in single player and it's just awesome you can do a Meriwether Mesa you know uh, any of the DLC cars except for collector's edition um you can even do a live car and truck and then custom color it and all that uh you can do a train, I don't know why you would, but you can. You can do a forklift, fire truck, um, and in case you don't believe me, let's just go look at some stuff that other people have done. Uh, click out of this real quick, click close file, and we're going to go to vehicle share, and this is where you can look at what other people have done. Right here. This car, I've looked at it several times and it is nice. Like, I mean, check this out guys. This is a nice looking police car. I did not do this, but somebody on the forum, whatever, did. DJ Michael, whatever his name is, did this car, and it looks extremely nice. Except for the rims. I'm not really digging the rims, but yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Another my police car. Let's check this out. Okay, um, that's just dumb. Why? Why? That just looks retarded. Why, why would somebody do that? Anyways, um, this has been a tour and tutorial of uh, GTA Savage Editor. I hope you had a good time and happy modding, guys. Don't get caught. Hey, guys. So I forgot to tell you something, so I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, let's go on over to... Um, shoot, let's, see. let's go over to... Franklin's Garage. How about that? And we're going to go to the Sand King. And this is a really cool thing you can that you can only do in save editor. Wow, I'm really tired, I'm just learning words. Uh, you're gonna go to advanced options right here, and you're gonna click that. And you, know, you see my body style is set at two. Uh, that's because what this does is, it takes off the side steps on the side of the truck, which, you know, you step on to get in the car. I know, I know, oh, then I can't get in the car. Yes, you can, trust me. It looks really funny, but you can get in it, and it's really awesome. It makes the truck look really clean and really nice. As you can see, the steps right here, 
if you put in level two, these are taken off and it looks really nice and really clean. Uh, that's how I have mine set up, obviously. So yeah, that's what I forgot to tell you guys. And obviously, once you're done editing everything that you want to edit, you're going to click save file. Ooh, and uh, check this out, guys. Another thing you can do is you can edit your character. Uh, you can buy them all the clothes and all the weapons and uh, max out their money to like $2 trillion, which is insane. Who needs that much money? Uh, oh wait, the US government does. Uh, uh, you can even do god mode for a single player. It doesn't transfer over, sorry. But uh, what this does is it makes you invincible. Like nobody can kill you. Even if your car blows up, you will not die. It's pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah. And remember, before you click out and uh, after you're done saving, click save file. Like after you're done editing your files, make sure you click save file. Alright, and make sure that this little screen comes up. Do not take your USB little thumb drive out until this comes up. And then you can click OK and just go ahead and exit. And that's it guys. Later.